What's up YouTube? This is Sabdosh TCG here and today I'm gonna give you my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards. On number 10 we have Steelix from Unleashed. This is the number 10 because I really like Steelix. And yeah, it isn't that bad of a card. It has an HP of 140 for a stage 1, now that's just crazy. He can deal 100 damage with his attack Gaia Crush, but it needs 5 energies for that. That's why you may want to set up Steelix with a couple of special metal energies, because he can't be affected by any special condition due to his Pokebody, so he can deal as a nice tank. And his first attack energy stream deals 30 damage and you can search your discard pile for an energy card and attach it to Steelix. This is great if there are any double carless or special metal energies in your discard pile. So yeah, Steelix on number 10. Number 9 is Solomon's level X from the Arceus set. This is a dragon card with a massive HP of 160, his attack steam blast does 100 damage for fire energy, water energy and double carless energy. But you need to discard an energy in order to use that attack. And his Poke Power, Double Fall, is great as well. Getting two prize cards for each knockout on the turn Salamence has leveled up can be really effective. So there we have Salamence. On number 8 we find Machamp Prime from Triumphant. This card has been seen a lot with Dunfan Prime in decks and he can really do some damage. His Poke Power, Fighting Tag, can be used in tight situations and his HP of 150 is great as well. And his first attack is also very good, dealing 60 damage for a Fighting Energy and a double colorless energy and then be able to discard a special energy card attached to the defending Pokemon is also very effective. So there we have Machamp. On number 7 is Blaziken FB level X. The artwork on this card is amazing. He can deal 80 damage for just one fire energy if you're using the energy gain card. The only downside is that your opponent deals 40 extra damage on his next turn to Blaziken FB level X. Now to his Pokebody that can be really helpful in fire decks. It states that all attacks on burned Pokemon are doing 40 more damage when Blaziken FB level X is in play on your side of the field. For example, the Magmortar card I reviewed on my last video can be a really nice stack card. His Poke Power burns and confuses your opponent's Pokemon when Magmar is being evolved. So that card can really work well with Blaziken FB level X. My number 7. Dunfan Prime is number 6. This is one of the most popular cards of the Hurt Gold Soul Silver set. He deals 60 damage for just a simple fighting energy, but then as a side effect it also hits your entire bench for 10 damage. His Pokebody, Exoskeleton, states all damage done to Dunfan is reduced by 20, which makes Dunfan Prime with his 120 HP for a stage 1 a really good tank, and he can also use a second attack when needed. Up next we have Snorlax level X on number 5. Snorlax is a Pokemon that everybody knows as a sleepy fat Pokemon. He's also very popular because he's a Kanto Pokemon that has been seen in Super Smash Bros since the beginning. Now to the card. The card has an amazing artwork and it's like Snorlax is on a rampage. He has an HP of 130 which isn't bad but it isn't what I expected from a Snorlax level X. Because we all know that in the game he has like over 500 HP or something like that and in the trading card game it's just less. But yeah anyway his Poke Power Big Appetite lets you draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand. This reminds me an awful lot of Magnezone Prime from Triumphant, which has the same Poke Power except Snorlax Level X can use it only when he's active, which weakens the Poke Power quite a bit. His attack, Exercise on the other hand, deals 80 damage for just 2 double carless energies, which is really great. And the effect isn't bad as well. You may discard as many energy cards from your hand as you like and then remove that many damage counters from Snorlax. This can be really great if you're running a big number of energy retrieval or fishermans. So Snorlax Level X is number 5. The number 4 spot is actually 2 cards, because it's a legend card, Reiko and Suicune legend. All legend cards are known for their outstanding artwork and in this card you can really see that. I really like the top part of this card mainly because Reiko has an awesome look in his ass and his tail is covered with lightning and he can deal quite some damage really fast. For 2 lightning energies and a carless energy you can deal 150 damage. If you combine that with Pachirichu from Call of Legends and a Shaman from Unleashed or a Lucian's assignment he can be charged up really fast. And the only side effect of this massive damage of 150 is only doing 50 damage to yourself. But with his HP of 160 and his other attack that heals yourself, this shouldn't be any problem. I think the only thing that keeps this card from being played is that your opponent takes two prize cards when this legend card is sent to the discard pile. But yeah, I still really like it though. Now to the top 3. Third place is for Rayquaza C level X from the Supreme Victor set. On this card Rayquaza looks really awesome, I think he's about to fire a hyper beam or something like that. He can deal a devastating attack of 200 with final blow up but you'll need 4 energies to do this. A water energy, a psychic energy, 
fighting energy and a colorless energy. And after all the work you've done to set up your Rayquaza C, you'll have to discard all energies after the attack, which is pretty bad. But you can ignore this effect if you have no cards in your hand. So I guess you would have to build a deck with lots of discard cards, like Junk Arm for example. But his Pokebody helps him as well to set him up, because if Rayquaza C, level X would be damaged by an attack and is not knocked out, you can search your discard pile for an energy card and attach it to Rayquaza C level X. This card really deserves to be number 3. Now for number 2, Charizard G level X. Charizard is probably the most popular Pokemon ever. It's a Pokemon that looks like a fire dragon. It's been around for ages and if you've ever played any Pokemon game in the 90s, you'll definitely know Charizard. This card is my number 2 mainly because of the artwork. You see that Charizard's flames come out of the card, which I really like. Unfortunately, this card is all luck based. His attack deals 150 damage, but the effect stays flip a coin. If Tails discard all energies attached to Charizard G level X. Now that's ridiculous. He needs 5 energies to use the attack and after a single coin flip you have the chance that all your effort was in vain. His Poke Power, Call for Power can help to set him up again. Cause you can move all energies attached to your Pokemon to Charizard G level X as often as you like. But the fact is, this level X card is just too slow to win competitive battles. But yeah, as I said, if you have luck with coin flips, you should definitely try this card out. Charizard level X. And finally, my number 1 card. You probably knew already that it was going to be a Zapdos card. I chose Zapdos G from the Arceus set. This card has an amazing artwork, one of the best I've seen for a Zapdos card due to the lightning effects and stuff. His HP of 90 is average for a legendary Pokemon and his attacks aren't that great, but it's still my favorite card. For Carlos energy, you can deal 10 damage and flip a coin. If hits, you can search your discard pile for an energy card and attach it to Zapdos G. This is great for late game and setting you up much quicker. But if you happen to start with this card, you're probably screwed. A second attack can deal 40 damage, but you may choose to do 80 damage instead. But then you must discard all lightning energies attached to Zapdos G. So there you have it, my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards. Hope you enjoy that and yeah, you can always leave a comment and tell me what your favorite Pokemon cards are. Or post a video response to this one and I will most definitely check it out. This was Zapdos TCG, thanks for watching and till next time.